when you look at pictures of Tampa from the early 1900s, mm-hmm. you will see a city that's denser than it is today. You won't see Interstate 275 or I-4. You won't see the Selman Expressway. You'll see a massive streetcar network. Mm-hmm. You'll see businesses connected. This entire area in the center of the map that we're looking at, Encore, this is Nucio, mm-hmm. all that was urban. This mm-hmm. this was all a connected urban environment. Mm-hmm. If mm-hmm. anything, all of this development is really an ode to the past way of an American downtown. Right. We're not reinventing anything. Yeah. We're actually, in a lot of ways, bringing back what was once phenomenal which was this just dense urban core agreed and figuring out how highways like 275 that cut neighborhoods in half and basically segregated areas away from one another shameful right how how now do we work around that problem and reconnect neighborhoods yeah despite these highways that will obviously always be there now recognizing that they have they play a role they play a role in commuters maybe going from brandon through tampa to st pete but of course you know hurricane evacuation routes logistics there's there's a there's so many reasons to include highways in the conversation oh yeah but also recognizing that they destroyed our urban core, right. and there's no denying that. Oh, I mean, I, they they I bulldozed agree. an incredible amount of the amount of the black businesses mm-hmm. on Central Avenue, mm-hmm. um, all through That's West right. Tampa. West Tampa was gutted. I mean, that Agreed. was an, a massive, yeah. a massive urban environment. West Tampa was its own city. Yeah, it had its own downtown. Agreed. And, and so now we're figuring out how do we reconnect. And I, you know, I think all all of these large developments related group in West Tampa. I mean, they get a. I mean, look, they, t- that's huge. That's a huge improvement for the, you know, for the city and, and they're helping to, you know, get us all, you know, reconnected. Right. So, and I think you're right. And, you know, it's, it's just figuring out ways and it's like doing things under, under overpasses like Dia's doing and mm-hmm. all that. It's just reconnecting. And the fact that they did the, the, the beltway under their highways, I think at the same time they built those or right after shortly after and made this interconnectedness has made the the expressways with the uh, feel less dividable, like div- divisible than than two seventy five and f- uh, I four. I think you're exactly right. Like, th- to me, the Thea expressways do not feel like they divide our communities in the same way. And, but, and in the same side of the coin, it's and Greg is fantastic, yeah. and his vision is fantastic. Yeah. But let me just say. What a horrible place for a highway. <laughs> right. I mean, literally straight <laughs> through our downtown. Way before his time. But, of course. Yeah, no, yeah, but yeah, just yeah, to yeah, say yeah. that moving yeah. forward, right, oh, he does have that right yeah. idea and that right Correct. vision. But but yeah, it's it is a freaking highway that goes right through <laughs> our urban core. Again, thank God, all the streets underneath connect. You do have mm-hmm. space. Mm-hmm. And guess what? I would argue in in kind of a strange way, it's a great thing to have a long shaded right? It's underneath an overpath, protected from the weather, protected from the sun. You've got a bike path, a little skate park underneath. That's what I'm saying. The fact that that, 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 you know, it's way more connected underneath. Yeah. Those make them feel, you know, yeah. And maybe, maybe it's a good thing. (laughs) Maybe a lot of people who are upset about the highway system should understand that, Hey, guess what? Today it's necessary. Yes. It doesn't mean we have to keep it the way it was for the past 50 years. Correct. All this stuff was done through urban renewal in the 60s and 70s, yeah. and yeah. people were moving out of the city to the suburbs, yeah. and that's when you had the demolition of a lot of our historic structures. That's Correct. why you have so many parking lots. Mm-hmm. That's why the black community was eviscerated, was this right. highway system. Exactly. It was urban exactly renewal. Right. It was a national policy. Tampa's not the only victim. No, not at all. It happened everywhere. It so, happened everywhere, yeah, but sure. I believe there's a way to make it better. There's a way to recognize, hey, look, it is what it is, but let's figure out a way to move forward. How do we fix it? And make the best of what we have. Yeah. You can't take it away. No, you cannot take it away. That that ship sailed. Yeah. It just, it's, that's never going to happen. But, but figuring out how do you connect everything, you know, underneath and and put the, the pieces that are broken back together is, you know, is essential, you know. If you enjoy this clip, click here for the full episode and make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.